All right, we do want to get to this right now. Trial is underway for two men accused of starting a riot at a pro Trump rally back in January of 2021, just days after the Capitol insurrection. CBS 8's Kelly Hessedal joins us from the downtown courthouse. That's right, and the two uh, men on trial, Brian uh, Lightfoot and Jeremy White, face charges of conspiracy to commit a riot. Now, prosecutors say they are self-described anti-fascists who traveled from Los Angeles to San Diego with the intent of violence. Uh, so up first on the witness stand, a detective with the San Diego Police Department. There were so many people that were involved in the protest and the events. It was kind of overwhelming um, to approach this and go, okay, I have to try to break it up into incidents, to break it up into, okay, maybe 12 people were in this, okay, which of them are the one that I need to really focus in on. And so that was Detective Emily Clark, who shed light on why this case is so extensive. She told the jury she reviewed videos on social media, as well as more than 400 body-worn camera clips related to that riot January 9th, 2021, in Pacific Beach, which took place just three days after the Capitol insurrection. Uh, she also walked the jury through how she went about identifying the defendants in this case. As you heard her say, with the huge crowds, uh, it was hard. So she zeroed in on certain objects that kept showing up in videos over and over, including a yellow baseball bat she says was used to smash a Skechers store window. She says she identified the owner of that bat and from there was able to identify some of his alleged co-conspirators who all seem to be associated with this anti-fascist group. Uh, prosecutors say that includes White and Lightfoot. Now, on the other side of this, defense attorneys say their clients showed up to that pro-Trump march to counter protests, that they were exercising their free speech rights. And yes, they say there was violence. However, they argue it was self-defense, that the two groups clashed, but there was no conspiracy. They also told the jury pay close attention to the so-called victims in this case, whether they're really victims or not, and approach the prosecution's case with healthy skepticism. The other nine defendants in this case have all taken plea deals. Uh, this trial is expected to last until the end of the month. Uh, we're expected to hear from a lot of different witnesses, including the two defendants themselves. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8.